attended a press conference marking Robert Mugabe's 25th year in power. Uh, no, it's just, I just wanted to say hello. She wants to say hello. Oh, I thought and you wanted some. some uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <bye. laughs> Thanks a lot. But <laughs> but now we are here. 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 We are I'm Exxon Sitwale's niece. Oh, I see. Yeah, the late Exxon Oh, I see. Yeah, so I'm doing ah. a documentary called Return to Zimbabwe. Okay. Celebrating a country that created who I am. Yeah. Going back to a country which gave me refuge, a home. Yes, yes. And um, <laughs> exploring many other things. <laughs> That's good. You are doing some good work for us. Okay. And I would love to right. still talk with you. Sure, sure. Why okay. not? Okay. Ah, I didn't, I didn't okay. know. No, all the best. Thanks a lot. No, all the best. Thanks a lot. We are very happy. Thank you very much. Sir. Less than two months later, Operation Drive Out the Filth began. My feelings about the film that I wanted to make changed irrevocably. The UN estimates that the homes of at least 700,000 Zimbabweans were destroyed, and up to half of the victims were children. With nowhere to go, squatter camps soon started to appear on the outskirts of the cities. With no running water, electricity, or sewage, life here is hard. Esther lives with her mother and baby sister Tino in what is barely more than a tent. The AIDS virus killed her father and is now killing her mother. Esther is also HIV positive, but with her mother's health failing, Esther is now the main carer in the family. Esther, I want to Fumbi <laughs> Mamma <laughs> The <laughs> One in seven adults in Zimbabwe has HIV. Life expectancy here has dropped by more than 20 years since I was a girl. It's now one of the lowest in the world. <laughs> Ah, 
Harisi basaru netu wane mwana mdika kaita sewe mwana ungu. Sichana kaasu mwari daya ndi kumbure randa pora. Nda kuchengeta yo sezwa murgu ndita. Mama yaka na achiru wana ndo ashikira. Ndo ndukwa kuruwa ziwa. Ndo kuzi mwana ungu nyungu wa uda kuchema. Ndo ashichema. Musho zangu nangwa sarama zisho, nangwa nyarara. Kuti wangwa na kufa, tukwa saratega. Kasi nda katara kuti, haka nangwa fato pinda tese mkua. The burden of caring sits heavy on Esther's tiny shoulders. So I'm surprised to learn that she has a teenage sister. Yvette is 16, but abandoned the family for a life on the streets. Busu asiswa, la tifita uya asobu ar arapi se mama di sa jipata di basre kabas. I want to talk to some of the children who live on the streets of Harare, but we have to be very careful filming the city. I have permission only to make a film about my childhood, and we will be in trouble if we are caught doing anything more. After 13-year-old Robert watched his mother die, he decided that coming to Harare might give him a better chance in life. Once a week, Robert goes to a storm drain near the railway station to wash his clothes with some of the other street children. I was shocked when another street child, 12-year-old Morgan, alleged that some police use street children as unpaid labor. I was shocked when another street Harassment by the police is a daily occurrence here, but far more feared is the Central Intelligence Organization, 
who's playing 